Celebrating Families Week 2024. My name's Nicola Payne. I lead our family engagement um, focus at McIntyre. And I just wanted to say hi. Uh, this is our fourth year of uh, committing to having a week dedicated just to highlight the importance of working with our families and circles of support. And what we've done this year is we are releasing short videos every day just to talk about something where that might be useful for you dependent on where your loved one is supported at McIntyre. So we, 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 we touch upon um, different conversations that you might hope you might feel that they are of some kind of use for you. So we've got one being released every day this week. So I really hope you enjoy and indulge and I will hopefully speak to you very soon. Hello, how Bye are you? I'm really good, thank you, Devs. And the purpose that we're together uh, this week is it is Celebrating Families 2024 at McIntyre. And it's a week that we really focus on just making sure that families feel valued and you understand McIntyre. And the purpose of our short films this week is that we are gonna be talking about uh, something that we hope you find useful over the next five days. And you're going to be seeing a film launched, one, one film every day of this week. And the first film that Debs and I are going to uh, be recording is around supporting our children and young people at McIntyre. And with the hope of just giving you some takeaways and just a bit of insight, really, um, around our children and young people services. That's the plan, isn't it, Debs? That's the plan. Yeah, <laughs> I think it'd be really good if you could just do a really quick overview of what your children's services look like at McIntyre. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. So if you if you if you don't know, we support um, children, young people and adults at McIntyre, but just primarily today thinking about our children and young people services. And we've been providing uh, services since 1966. Uh, and we have our schools, we have our academies, we have our residential service uh, for our young people. And we also have a wonderful provision called No Limits, which we've, we've got a standalone film about that we will, uh, you'll find out more this week. But primarily today, we're thinking about our younger children, that sort of age between sort of 10 and 16. But our website has some wonderful information about, uh, in much more depth about what we actually offer for our young people. And uh, thanks, Nikki. I think that's really useful. Um, so I think that's the thing. Some people will have started in McIntyre sort of when the children were like young adults and maybe don't know that you even have skills. So I think it's always quite handy. Um, I thought one of the things that would be really good to talk about, um, I'm actually, as you know, a mum of three young adults myself now. They're all over 18, which is a challenge in itself. Um, but They've all got um, education, health and care plans. They all have um, a label or a variety of labels each. Um, and so one of the things that's really helped me when my kids were younger and as it's progressed is using person-centred thinking. Now, I know it's something that you do use at McIntyre. How do you use it in McIntyre? Or how about we talk about what it is? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, so person-centred thinking tools, and some of you might hear it, it can be a bit of a, a bit of a buzzword in some organisations. But at McIntyre, we truly believe that they are resources that help you think through, so find solutions for for problems, and also allow your loved one, your child, to be really per really centered into the you know in the to their world really so that they are in that they we, we're hearing what choices and decisions that they want and we're not just guessing that that might be the the case so when we use person centered thinking tools at McIntyre we use things like one page profiles uh, likes and dislikes admire um who you you know things like that hopes and dreams for the future we're just really doing that person centered work without making an assumption that that's what the person would want. I mean, I'm not sure if I've explained that too well, Debs. I don't know what your thoughts are. No, I get what you're talking about. It's, it's about making sure that people don't see the label. Yeah. It's not, that's not the priority. Um, and so you mentioned one-page profiles. Now, for people who don't know what they are, there are, as you all know, if you've got a child who's got an education, health and care plan, that can be anything from 10 to about 50 pages long depending on what goes in there um and most people let's be honest don't read it so a one-page profile is a one-page overview of telling people about your child 
And that should only include three sections. So actually you should have four. Number one is a nice photo. So it makes it personal. So you know what they look like and you know who the person is that you're talking about. And then you've got what do they, what do people like and admire about them? And I think as parents, we get so hung up sometimes on there's a lot of negativity around our children and we forget that people like them and admire them as well um and one of the things that we used to do was every so often we'd send out just like a whatsapp or but before whatsapp it was like a text message or a phone call and we'd say tell us something that you like or admire about them and you'll get the things like you know that the smile that lights up the room they've always got so for me i one of my uh children I still call my child um is blind and one of the things I really love about him is that he's not bothered because he can't see about labels or if you've had Botox or you know if you've got a full makeup on which as you can see today I've not because I've been rough all summer uh, east holiday so I do apologize anyone watching this and not listening um but it doesn't matter to him and it doesn't matter to him if, you know, what colour my hair is or if I've got, like, the latest designer label or if I'm a size zero. Um, what matters to him is the person I am. And I, I just think so many times I'm with him because he, he obviously, you know, he's one of those people, he judges people totally on if they will help him or if they're nice to him. He's not interested on if you're the coolest kid with the latest designer gear because it he doesn't and I and I love that and I think sometimes I'm thinking we can all be a bit more like Jay life would be a lot better for everybody um but you know when I talk about what people like and admire about him that's something that comes through quite strongly is that like you know one of his favorite tutors is this older guy who's you know someone that they all you know a lot of people don't like him because he challenges them but Jay loves his absolute knowledge encyclopedic knowledge of music um, and so, you know, when people like and admire it, what do they like and admire about you? Um, and I think it's really useful. And it's always actually quite nice to hear what people like and admire, because I think we spend a lot of time being told the issues that are created by having a label. Yeah. And I think, Debs, especially when a family is thinking about their, their, their child transitioning into school going into school leaving home leaving that safe space of where you know your child best you know exactly what makes your child happy what challenges your child might face but how you overcome them so I guess a real good takeaway from the our conversation today is if you haven't looked or heard about one pay, uh, about our uh, person-centered thinking tools and not ours they're a national thing you can find them anywhere if you google them we have got them at mcintyre for you to get your hands on as well but get some completed do that pre-work uh, so you've got that rich information to share with new providers new schools new i think what we're, we we need to talk about though is the benefits of using yeah. it um so for example um there's two other sections that go on your one page profile one is is what's important too, which are the things that they love doing. Like, where would they go for a, if they had the best day ever? Who would they be with? What would they be eating? Where would they? Um, but then it's what's important for, or how you best support. And one of the things we did as a family is um, again with Jay, he wanted to be a DJ, um, and that's always been his thing. He wants to be called DJ Bad Boy. So you heard that here first, and. He was really sort of like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be a DJ, so I don't need to do maths. And so we used it and we were like, actually, you do, because you need to know how much money you're making and you need to know that people aren't ripping you off and you need to do percentages and you need to do that because you need to know what percentage of royalties you're getting. And, you, and so we worked around the whole thing. And then it was like, he also was quite lazy and he would let you guide him everywhere rather than try and like walk independently. So we were like, well, you know, when you're a DJ and you turn up at the stage and everyone, the old girls are screaming for you and you get off the coach and your mum's holding your hand because she's going to walk you to the stage. They're going to go, I don't think so. So we used what was really important to him to look at how we supported him and encourage him 
with his independence and with his learning. And so we did it with my other son. He wanted to be a film director, so he didn't see the point of being able to do something. And we were like, well, you need to be able to write a script and you need to be able to look at the script and read the script and edit the script. And you need to know about the budget within the film. And, and again, we've used what's really important to them to make it something that was something of use to them and wasn't just like, you need to do percentages because it's on the curriculum. You need to do percentages because it's going to help you with your royalties. Um, and so it's finding that. And for us, that was like such a big turning point because we went from having these kids who were quite not engaged to kids who really wanted to, all oh, right, okay, I need to make sure I'm not getting ripped off. That's an extra, we've got to get to them like, you know, that's an extra camera you could have, or that's an extra this you could have. And things again that were important to them, but using that really helped. Yeah. And one that I'm really familiar with, some of you might be, and, and yourself, Debs, is the, is the working, not working, and how that can help you really work out something that feels maybe a little bit compromising as well, help you with like a decision that you need to make or just make you see a bit clearer. Yeah. I love the working, not working. And I think the working, not working is also really good for parents when they need to write in and say, this isn't working. Because actually, it's really nice to say, this is working, this is working, but we need to tweak this, or it's not quite working. And then having the two comparisons means that what you're sending isn't just a really negative thing. You're saying to people, you know, this works really well, but we need to tweak this. Um, but I think the working, not working is really important. I mean, there's so many different ones, and it can be a little bit overwhelming when you first find them. So for me, I always went back to basics and what worked what's working not working and the one page profiles were always the ones that I initially always start with yeah. um and the one and they're a really nice way of getting to know the person beyond the label and knowing how to motivate them and knowing how to because it helps you to advocate as well in the school setting because again we would we we did that we were sat there and we go okay he's hating maths but if we, and we did the same thing, we talked to them about the whole, like, he wants to be a pop star, he wants to do this. And so the, the girls started to use the same thing. Every time you sort of sat in the middle of a lesson go, oh, I can't do it. They were like, oh, you know, somebody's going to rip off your royalties, mate. Oh, yeah, right, okay. And so it was that, and it made such a difference. So it helps them to do that as well. No, abs no absolutely. And not forgetting as well, I always sort of plug this where I can, you know, create a one-page profile for you as a family as well because it's so important for us at McIntyre but you know out in the big wide world that we understand you more uh you, you know your family how you click how you work as a as a as a sort of a, a cohort so that's really important so they're, they're there for you as well as your children um Absolutely. but one thing I have seen sometimes and I know it, it's so important that they, they get created and they're so creating that in depth um with uh, but they don't get reviewed so it's really important that, that they you know someone's got for example Debs you know hope my hopes and dreams today could change in a year's time and that's really important that we review that as time goes on so someone's not just stuck with this is who I am today but in yeah. you know in a few years time I'm gonna there's gonna be you know especially if we're talking about children and young people you know you're gonna mature and grow and that that they that that they need to grow and mature with you really yeah, absolutely. And they need to be updated and reviewed. And, and again, it's just one of those things you can do, sort of make it a family thing, sort of once a year or, you know, so like in that spot between Christmas and New Year where you've sort of done the Christmas, you're waiting for the New Year so they can all go back to school and you've got that break. And that's sometimes like a good, because also family are around. So you can talk to family and say, you know, what things you like and admire now about them, yeah. What you know. Yeah. And they can, and, and you know, I'm sort of putting this conversation to a little bit of an end, but they can cut, uh, come in all different formats as well. I think we're quite used to seeing them in paper version, but they can be on someone's laptop or iPad or audio recording as well. Things, ways that that information is going to make sense to that each individual circumstance and that each person, I think, is really important as well. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And one thing I would say to people is don't spend hours making it look like super pretty. There's a load of templates out there. Um, you know, it's about making sure that the relevant information is on, on there and that in some way, shape or form, somebody looking at that will learn something about your child that they didn't know that will help them to work with your child. Lovely.
and you've you wrap that up beautifully, Deb. So I think for this film, we would say, you know, if there's any questions, any anyone, you know, if you're watching this film, you've got any questions for myself, do contact me at nicola.paynemcintyrecharity.org. Um, and any questions that you have for Debs, I will pass on as well. So thank you, Debs. And we hope you found that useful.